Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to have a quick overview of several metaverse or gaming tokens and I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best value. So let's start with Cathion. I just made a video about this very, very low cap crypto coin. Um, basically in the single digit millions, definitely could be a moon bag. And they still, they have about uh, 25 games out with about 50 million downloads. So about 2 million downloads per game. Market cap of only $6 million. They just released their metaverse and their coin has been dropping in value. So it might be a good pickup, maybe for a couple of hundred dollars to see if you can get like 100x out of this. Because 100x would only be $600 million. 50x would only be 300 million. And that wouldn't put it very high in the market cap rankings. So Cathion, a lot of pitfalls, but a lot of potential as well. The coin is um, basically Cathion. And where it's sold, well, it's sold at Gate.io, MexC, and QuickSwap. Most of the volume is now at MexC, so you'll definitely want to be trading there for some liquidity with about $680,000 worth of volume. The next one is Gala. Now, Gala is a little bit more established. Um, it has a lot more pairs. You can buy it at many more places, $183 million worth of volume. Uh, you can get it on Binance, Coinbase, uh, Hubi Global, FTX, Kraken, and all the major exchanges. $277 billion market cap. The part that sucks about its tokenomics is that the fully diluted market cap is $1.4 billion. So they have a lot of probably like 80% of their coins that need to be released. Some people are concerned about that. But Gala has a lot of actual games out. There's Spider Tanks is looking at esports, which is going to be really, really good for the game. And $277 million market cap is still not that high. It's still a fairly low cap coin that you can actually get a lot of multipliers out of for Gala. So Gala could be a pretty, pick, a pretty good pickup, more solid than some of the newer projects. They have a stable base and they have a lot of games that are coming out. One of their games looks to be pretty popular and may be looking to compete as an esport, which is a level that other people aren't there at yet. UOS is Ultra. Now, Ultra seems to be wanting to become a Steam, a decentralized blockchain stream, a steep version of Steam. Now, this gives me some pause because Steam works just fine. So I'm not really sure why you want a blockchain version of Steam decentralized. Not really sure how many people would go for that. So I'm a little bit paused on Ultra. I don't know if I would buy it right now based on what I've been told about it, but it could actually be kind of interesting. Please correct me if I'm wrong and they're not trying to become a decentralized version of Steam, but from a lot of people, what they've talked to me about, they're becoming a, they seem to be pretty excited about a decentralized blockchain version of Steam. I don't really see the reason myself, so I think I will pass on Ultra, but it could be a good pickup for those of you that are interested. Mana is the next one. It's the OG. The market cap is not too high, but... I've tried Mana, it kind of crashes the computer sort of. It actually makes me process like crazy. The game also, the graphics are very, very old and it doesn't look all that good. They have what seems to be a couple hundred uh, users um, co-current uh, on at a time, which isn't great compared to how much money they've actually spent on it. And I've had one person told me it's fun and a lot of people that played it have told me it kind of sucks. So I don't know if I would actually buy Mana. I think I'm going to pass on Mana just because it's kind of like old, uh, it, the graphics aren't very good and the game doesn't really seem to be all that fun. The next one is Sandbox. Now Sandbox is pretty big. It's gotten a lot of uh, traction. It's actually gotten a lot of hype as well. So the market cap of 1.2 billion, I think there's some limited upside with this one. It's already rank 44 and yes, the graphics look better and the gameplay looks better and I think a lot of people have told me they actually enjoy Sandbox and some of their kids play it a lot. I still think it's a pretty good pickup. It probably will go um, maybe like six, seven, eight, nine X, maybe even more in the bull run. But like I said, with a billion dollar market cap already, it has somewhat limited potential. But about 50% of the coins are actually distributed out. So it still has potential and I think it's one of the safer bets, but I think the potential is a little bit more limited. The next one is uh, Blocktopia. Now, Blocktopia, I think, got really, really overhyped. You saw a lot of crypto influencers shilling um, Blocktopia, and it actually got a lot of these Blocktopia things. Like, they actually got Blocktopia in, um, well, a lot of the influencers and a lot of the companies in Blocktopia, but I haven't heard much about it since the last bull run. 
and I think the hype around it has actually kind of faded. So I don't really know if I would go for Blocktopia. It is much lower market cap at 54 million, but less than 10% of the coins are out. Um, could have some potential, but I probably wouldn't go with Blocktopia right now just because a lot of the FOMO and a lot of the hype has faded. I'm not really sure if it's going to come back. I haven't really heard too much about it. And if the hype dies on something, then that project may not be that great. Engine is the next one I want to talk about. It is kind of the o it is an OG uh, for the metaverse stuff. It is a platform for games to build on. I still really believe in this project. Market cap of 437 million. Every one of the engine coins is out, so there are not going to be extra coins that come out and flood the market. So ENJ, there are some pretty good projects on it. Uh, it provides an ecosystem of interconnected blockchain-based gaming projects. Products Engine's flagship offering is the Engine Network, social gaming platform through which users can create websites and clans, chat, and host virtual item stores. So I think there's a lot of utility for it, and I know there's a couple of projects building on Engine as well. And they have partnerships with like things like Square Enix. Of course, I think Engine's one of the more established projects in the metaverse field. You can get it on Binance, Coinbase, BitThumb, and a lot of other places like Kraken as well. So I think Engine is a pretty good pickup. It's pretty solid. Um, there might not be as much hype about it as some of the other coins, but the market cap is actually significantly smaller than things like Sandbox, and the fully diluted market cap, which is the same as the market cap, which is a big plus, is actually smaller than things like Gala. So Engine is definitely worth looking into at number 85, just inside the top 100. The next one we're going to look at is Alluvium. So Alluvium, the graphics actually look really, really nice. It's $92 million, a $92 million market cap, fully diluted, $600 million. So you only got about 16% of the coins out. It seems to be a turn-based kind of collectible card, almost Pokemon-like game. We know that attracts people. But the graphics actually look better than most games out there, and there seems to be a lot of hype about it as well. So it could definitely go... Um, it definitely can actually do very well in the next bull run. There's been two audits. So that's a big plus for Alluvium as well. So like, I think there's a demo you can actually look at and there is volume about $15 million. So you should be able to pick up coins pretty easily. Binance, Coinbase, Uniswap, Gate.io. Definitely like a bit riskier since you're basically betting on this trading card game, but it definitely could pay off big dividends if it's actually successful. So the last one we're going to look at is UFO Gaming. Now, I'm not a huge fan of their website. I don't like these fancy websites. I want to see like how many games and what games they have. So this is like, I think they only have one right now with Super Galactic. That's going to be their debut game. They're also building the Dark Metaverse, which will integrate all their games. But UFO Gaming is still very, very new. They also, they have a huge amount of coins. I think they have like 25 trillion coins, but the coins are um, not worth very much. 0 0.00000211. The market cap's only 54, billion, uh, 54 million. And all the coins are actually distributed. So you won't actually get dumped on. So the tokenomics of, of like at least not more coins coming to the market is a big plus. But, you know, like... I'm going to dock him some points just for the website because like I don't like fancy websites. I mean, that's just me. I don't like fancy websites. I like websites where I can scroll through. I'm kind of old school. I like websites where I can scroll through and just get pure information. If you have more, only one game, it says I only have one game. If you have more than one game, it has a listing of the games and not like just like if I scroll through, you know, there's like all these graphics that pop up. Not a huge fan of it, but they do actually sponsor esports tournaments. It, they look actually pretty legit. Uh, but they are very, very early in the process. If you want to get in on the ground floor, this might be the coin for you. But it is a much bigger risk than something like Gala or uh, something like Engine. So that's kind of what I have for you for today. So of those, which ones do I like? I actually like the top two, Gala and Cathion. Cathion would actually be my gaming moon bag because they already have 25 games released. None of them are that popular, but they're making more games and they're integrating into their metaverse. Gala's is more established. Uh, but still, just like 277 million market cap. The tokenomics, not that great, I will admit. But $277 million market cap, a lot of uh, forward momentum. Plus, they got some like good partnerships with um, DreamWorks and also with uh, like Epic Games. And also, their uh, Spider Tanks game seems to be doing pretty well. So, Gala and Cathion, I would pick as my top two. Uh, I would actually look at Engine and Sandbox as well right now. So those are kind of like the four I would be looking at. I think Alluvium and UFO Gaming are fine as well. But Gala and Cathy are my top two. And then like Engine and Sandbox would actually be my next two. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.